Hello, my lovely viewers, and welcome. I am Kira, a romantic ace, and tonight we are starting book three of Endless Summers. So we're starting with chapter one. So, with that, the stinger for chapter one is the world has been hurled backward in time by the strange power of La Huerta. To set things right, you'll embark on your greatest adventure yet. Greater than walking into a volcano and doing a mini game in a fucking epilogue? Let's find out! First, there is only light. Your surroundings are lost in a blinding haze. Then, a voice speaks, resonant and strangely familiar. This is acid crab, isn't it? One magical week in paradise, here we come! Oh, we were all so naive in book one. Uh, it happens, okay? This is totally normal. <laughs> yeah, sure. That looks normal. The Celestial Hotel and Resort, the Jewel of the Caribbean. Where the hell is everyone? Come on, Kira. We promised we'd make the most of this trip. Everett Rourke, the man who built this place, the man who brought all of you here, is my father. Whoever these Watchers are, they're coming for us. We've got no idea where this thing will send us, or when! Jake leans in and kisses you one last time. <laughs> All right, I can die happy now. Wait, Kira, where's Diego? He's responsible for all of this. It's time he answers for it. Well, that's here. That's satellite imagery of La Huerta. It's him. The Hydra can't be allowed to leave with the idol. For our safety and your own, I must order your immediate imprisonment on Sharktooth Isle. Reunited and it feels so good! <sighs> Lady, I don't know what black pearl you just stepped off of, but we don't want any trouble. What? You... don't work for Malatesta? <gasps> He's headed right for the village! Mother, please. I cannot be Elishar. You must lead us through this. Some... choices... must... last. It's her Rotterdams. The final stage is a coma. There is one possibility. Our ancestors called it the Island's Heart. What have you done with the rest of me? I can get you off this island, back home. All of you. 
What do you want, Lundgren? Huh, you, Mackenzie. I'm here to bring you in. The targeting's live. I put in Hartfold's coordinates. The island alone stayed safe, while the rest of the world burned. <sighs> we have to go back. Alistair's frozen, his hand hovering over the control panel. And you realize what he's about to do. <sighs> I'm sorry. Lila, kill them all. Lila raises her gun and shoots two arachnid troops in the head. <sighs> you were right, Estella. I am nothing but a killer. But... At least I can kill the right people for once. Huh, let's see you dodge this one, Jakey Wakey. Quinn floats out of the open chopper door, into the path of the rocket. Stop. Oh hell, hang on, we're going down. You stretch out your right hand as your left loses more and more grip. Come on, you can do it! Give me your hand! I gave you help, and now I am in need of yours. Act 7, Chapter 1. Time escapes me. We will meet again soon, Kira. All that ever was, is, and shall be depends on your choices. I think I said this at the start of book two, but you can't put that kind of pressure on me, man. I I cannot be trusted with that type of power. I just can't be. That This is a bad idea. Don't do this. You find yourself back in the tunnels beneath Mount Tropo. Yvonne, Ukjal, and the Endless are with you. All our friends yet live. Uh... Our friends? The Endless reaches up and presses a latch at the collar of its suit. You hear a hiss of decompression. With two hands, one flesh and one iron, it removes its helmet. I had to be sure you were ready, Kira. Now, our work can begin. I know this all must seem very strange. Is there anything you'd like to ask me, Kira? Are they gonna let me ask what the fuck? Because that's what I want to know. No, they won't. Okay. So we have the options of... You said the others are alive? What's this work you mentioned us doing? Or... How have you lived for so long? Well, I mean, I feel like... This could all probably be done in the span of a human lifetime, given the fact that the Endless tells us in the last book that sometimes, you know, people didn't even last a day on the island. I mean, she she says the others are alive. I kind of don't want to spend time on that just because I feel like, you know, that's basically going to be this book, is us reuniting with at least some, if not everybody. So I'm going to go with... I really want to fucking know, what the fuck does she want me to do? What's this work you mentioned us doing? Rourke seeks to harvest La Huerta's time-altering energy by triggering the island's destruction. We can't allow that. So, can't you just go back in time and terminate his parents or something? Honey, we discussed this in the last book. She can't leave the island. 
Which raises some questions when you think about the fact that she's us, but we walked through the Lernean Gate. Chew on that. <laughs> no need. Whoa. What? We do know that this version of us murdered Alistair, so... I'm just saying. There's a crux of extra-dimensional crystal inside the core of the volcano. All of the fragments on the island originate from it. What? By harnessing the crux's power, you and I will stop Rourke for good. What? Okay, but how is any of this even possible? What are you? What am... I? Are we really gonna go into this now? What the hell is the rest of the book gonna be about? The Endless lowers a mechanical limb toward the floor of the tunnel. My journey to self-discovery was long and difficult. Yours will happen much faster. Yeah, I can tell. In case you didn't guess, I've played this through before. This was not how I did it. So, this is fascinating. It's important, however, that you develop that understanding on your own. Flame swirls from the Endless's metal fingertips, igniting a line of powder. Wait, what, bitch? What are you doing? Sparks travel the trail's length disappearing around a bend in the tunnel. Okay, so she just meant over the course of this book, not over the course of, like, decades like she did. Okay. Alright. I'm okay with that. In the end, it's up to you to decide who you truly are. Well, yeah, I guess. A distant explosion echoes through the caverns. Great, we're gonna die, aren't we? Again. There. That should activate the crux. We- What?! You just caught- you just set off an implosion bomb? What the- Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't- Don't fuck with time, man. We've already done enough. <gasps> yeah, this is why you don't fuck with that. The Endless stops abruptly. You feel a slight tremor. It's so subtle, it almost seems to be coming from your own heart, tight with anticipation. This is not as I'd expected. The tunnel pitches violently, sending everyone sprawling to the ground. The walls begin to shake. A gust of wind, intensely hot, blasts the area. You just set off a bomb in a volcano. This is a categorically bad idea. The mountain is erupting. Uh, right now? Over the din, an ear-splitting roar comes from somewhere below. Yep, we're gonna die. We need to leave immediately. Together with the others, you run headlong through the caves to the temple's entrance. Outside, a plume of fire and smoke billows from Mount Atropo's summit. Streams of shimmering lava wind their way down the slopes. Too late. It's all too late. Ron Lusty has come. Great. Future us literally just set off the end of the world by not checking her setup. Fuck you. Yvonne moves in front of the Endless, blocking the spacesuit-clad figure's path. Arte, demon! 
You told me if I brought you Kira, you'd give me oh. the fountain. The legendary fountain of youth, yes. It's inside the mountain, just as you and your fellow pirates believed. The Endless throws a gesture toward the mountaintop, where geysers of lava rocket into the night sky. This is no ordinary eruption. The entire island is about to change. Just as it did when Rourke tampered with the crux. Yeah, and you didn't learn, did ya? So we can say, will this make everything worse? Or you didn't know this would happen? Honestly, I don't want to know if she knew or not, because either answer is not is not a good one, honestly. It's either I didn't know and I didn't bother checking and whoopsie daisy, or yes I knew and I deliberately set off a fucking volcano. So instead, I'm gonna go with, uh, will this make everything worse? During the last eruption, the Vanti were pulled back hundreds of years. And the world was turned into a primeval hellscape. Is this gonna send everything further into the past? There's no way to know how far reaching the effect will be yet. Yeah, cool. So, you're saying the fountain is lost? What you seek can be found to the east. Ah, so there is a clue! It's the temple! There's another temple on the coast. A place once known as Nox Naj. Your brother, Patrice. A gout of lava crashes onto the nearby slopes. It converges with a stream of molten rock and rapidly floods down towards you. Time to go! Listen to me. You're the miracle I've waited for. You're the only one who could keep everyone safe. I need you to recover the island's heart from Rourke. With it, we can preserve La Huerta and protect our friends. Do you understand? I can't do that if we're dead, honey. I... I... Kira, do you understand? <sighs> yes. Good. Stand back. As you move away, the Endless dons her helmet again. Slowly. She extends both arms toward the approaching inferno. Very dramatically. Well, okie dokie then. Go! Find everyone. Find... Ah, the island's heart. Alright, cool. La Zetomber! We must go! Yvonne drags you away. Before you know it, the two of you and Ukjal are running for the rainforest. Cresting the hill, you look down to find a sea of liquid fire gathering at the base of the volcano. Oh shit. <sighs> we should be safe up here. Yeah, for how long, dude? Several flashes light up the smoky sky. I hate being right all the time. A storm? Zrack! Several strokes shoot into the surrounding foliage, foliage, causing it to ignite. Zoot the lure! I have missed one! Sorry. No longer safe. We must move, quickly! Oh, shit. There's a crackle of splintering wood. A huge tree trunk is falling towards you. Um, dive. You spring out of the way, diving into the smoking brush. 
can't... I can't breathe. You and Yvonne fall to the ground, coughing helplessly. Through the haze, the fiery glow becomes brighter as trees and undergrowth are rapidly consumed. Yeah, it doesn't take much before you go down from smoke inhalation. Your consciousness begins to slip away when a hand reaches out to you. <sighs> this boy is so dramatic. I ain't losing you twice, princess. God fucking damn it. Boy, where the hell have you been? And when do I get to yell at you for smoking that goddamn cigar? With his arm wrapped around your torso, the two of you hurry out of the smoke. Okay, you see Estella helping Yvonne do the same. All right, who's got Ukjal then? Come on, somebody get the old man. As a group, you move on through the forest, seeking to outdistance the spreading fire. Good fucking luck. Run the opposite way of the wind. You all right? Apparently, we just left Ukjal to die. I think so. Nice timing, by the way. Yes, very dramatic. Thank you, Kira. Wait, where's Ukjal? Finally, we fucking notice. Okay, all right. You glance behind you, but find no sign of the old shaman. <sighs> he was on the other side of the fallen tree. Uh-oh. Oh, Grandpa Smurf knows these jungles better than we do. We're gonna have to hope he can make it down on his own. Or make it out on his own. Oh, God. Jake! <sighs> Still need to yell at you about the cigar, and apparently now I need to yell at you about this. I have a lot of work to do, and I've got to recover from smoke inhalation to boot. I feel like that alone should be enough for me to be like, please never smoke again because I almost died. How did you guys find us? The chopper went down right after you failed. Ugh! Could have been flying the chopper, but no, you had to be dramatic and try to be the one to save it. We've been combing the forest while Cap and Big Guy search along the eastern coast. So Sean and Craig are all right. We know they are. We can only hope. It's been three days since we saw them. Didn't think it'd take this much time to find you, but me Sean over here will tell you that I'm wrong every great once in a while. Rays of blue li bright blue light stream from a glowing rift hovering in midair. The hell? It's like a window. I see a place on the other side. Uh, yeah, let's get out of the way of this portal or whatever it is. Agreed. The four of you run on into the forest, leaving the rift behind. Hopefully it closes before fucking velociraptors or some shit come through. This kind of stuff didn't happen during the last storm. Or did it? I don't know, where do we think the Sabertooth actually came from? Was it always there, or did the Vanti capture it after something like this? Hmm. We could ask Ukjal, except no one brought him along. <sighs> Hard to say. I was busy trying to keep Delilah from making a swan dive into the Caribbean at the time. This is the first time he's called his plane by name. Interesting. <sighs> we were lucky. We were spared, along with the island. And now there's nothing out there to go back to. Yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow. Take it easy, Ripley. I ain't having you crack at a time like this. Okay, at least that reference I get. I'm not cracking. O okay, okay. <sighs> I'm being honest with myself. 
Everything's gone. This is all we have now. A series of blue flashes fill the air. Two more rifts open before your eyes, floating amid the trees. A groan comes from the forest floor as it splits apart, causing blazing lava to rise from a network of fissures. Huh, <laughs> figures. My day was going well for once. This is well? Estella points toward the floating rifts. Oh god! The time portals! We've got no choice! Copy that. Jake and Estella rush ahead. They each stop beside a different rift, looking back for you to follow. No, dude, we should all be going through the same rift. What are you doing? Y'all! Everybody through what? Jesus! Be a little genre savvy here, guys. Another flash heralds the open er, heralds the appearance of a third rift, slowly shimmering open in front of you and Yvonne. Okay, so our options are enter the second rift with Estella for 12 diamonds. Enter the first rift with Jake. You can all see where I got genre savvy the last time I played. Or you can enter the third rift. Um for free. Which the third rift is going through with Yvonne. Um, I don't think I'm being subtle. Also, I need to yell at this boy about the cigars. Come on. Come on. Give me... Just... Just do it. Just... Come on. Also, not losing him again. That sounded way more dramatic than I meant it to be. As the brush begins to catch flame, you enter the rift with Jake close behind. The roar of the eruption is suddenly gone, replaced by chirping insects and the gentle lap of water along a mossy riverbank. I still don't understand why we all didn't just go through one. This is ridiculous. Oh, looks safe enough. You've never been to a bayou, have you? Behind you, the burning rainforest can still be seen through the rift you've just exited. Okay, well, the door hasn't shut yet. That's good. The two of you sit down by the water's edge. Whatever this place is, it's sure a dead ringer for Pearl River. Hmm. Interesting. Is that where you grew up? Yeah, we moved around a bit before I headed off to Annapolis, but my grandparents always had their place out in the backcountry. That house was the center of the family. It's a different world out there. Simpler way of life. <laughs> Simple sounds pretty nice right about now. Yeah, no shit. Huh, you're telling me. Which is... Endless summer for no shit. Jake pauses thoughtfully. His gaze becomes distant. Okay, this is the therapy part. Just take another drink. See, the distant doesn't mean sad. But they have the sad music on, so I guess it does mean sad. I didn't bring my tissue box over here. Am I gonna regret this? You'd, you'd think that I wouldn't since I've played this before, but, you know. I've also played this whole series before, so. Something wrong? I just... I keep going back to the moment I lost him. You mean Mike? I could have saved Mike from all this. And I didn't. And now whatever's left of him is in there watching. Suffering. 
I can't take it, princess. You could at least first name us right now. Jesus. Jake's gaze meets yours. There's a helplessness in his expression, his eyes full of grief. Don't, no, come on. I'm holding out, but they're trying. Jake, we can say, it's not your fault, which is true, but also kind of empty, because you can know, like, like, you can know that all you want and it doesn't necessarily help. Um, or we can say we're gonna get him out, which sounds like a promise we can't keep, so I don't like either of these answers. I think I'm going to go with the thing that at least tries to be helpful. Um, Jake, we're gonna get him out. <coughs> Something wells up inside Jake but he nods fiercely, swallowing away the pain. Oh boy, just cry, it's okay, you can cry. You place a comforting hand on Jake's back. He exhales slowly, shaking his head. Dude, just cry. Seriously, just cry. Not off camera like we can probably safely assume you did after we fell out of the helicopter, but like, on camera, just fucking cry, man. You'll feel- it- Crying is cathartic. You might even feel better. <sighs> Hell of a place, this island. <laughs> you're telling me. Well, we might not be on the island. We might be in Louisiana right now. Who knows? So we can squeeze his hand or kiss him. Well, kissing is an option. Take a drink! <sighs> Alright, fine. Pucker up. We're gonna kiss him. You grasp Jake's hand and pull him closer. See, we squeezed his hand anyway, it's fine. We're smiling! Oh, that is a strange way to put this. As your, as your faces find each other. When you've written too many kissing scenes and you're running out of clever ways to say they kissed. Wow, that is terrible. As your... Oh my god. Jake, I can't say it again. Jake grins and brings his lips to yours. Okay faces. Okay. Oh! Jake is now in love with us. Mmm. Smoochin' in the bayou did it, huh? Okay. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god. So, mmm. Drives me nuts. Mmm. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow, we're, he's just going for it. Okay. After our faces find each other... <laughs> his, ki his kiss is... <laughs> I'm never gonna... I can't believe I forgot that. I... F I must not have kissed him the last time, because I feel like I'd remember that. <laughs> his, his kiss is soft and warm, caressing you passionately, gradually, slowly taking your breath away. You're supposed to come up for air. You breathe between the kisses, like, you know, you turn your head and you- yeah, oh my god. There, there are literal YouTube tutorials because some of us don't know how to kiss, okay? Like, come on. You pull apart, and he reaches up to run his fingers through your hair. Yeah, of course he's proud of himself. Ugh, little shit. The two of you gaze out over the water, 
watching ripples cascade across its silken surface. Jake glances over at the hovering rift. The sliver of visible rainforest is dark and smoky. Hmm. The fire's died down. As we say in the south, Tempest sure does fugit. I don't know that anybody in the south says that, but... Okay. You ready? As I'm ever gonna be. To face the fact that everybody else is probably waiting outside assuming that we're, you know, boning in the rainforest. Or bayou. Or wherever they think we are. Whatever. Okay, that was an interesting noise. The ground is covered in writhing smoke. The lava fissures still emit a dull glow, but the surrounding brush appears to have stopped burning. Cool, how many weeks have passed? As the eruption continues lighting up the night sky, everyone trudges on through the rainforest. Almost two hours later, the shoreline comes into view. You arrive at a wide, moonlit cave. Pillars of natural rock rise from the sea like fingers grasping for the stars. Whoa, where are we? Magnifique non, Goulinard Cove, a treacherous arbor that only master sailors dare traverse. Oh boy. And what exactly are you expecting to find? Look at the mountains. We're on the northern side of the island. Wow, we get around. Sean and Craig were searching to the east, right? Yes, and the eastern coast is probably one giant inferno of lava right now. Cool. The Endless was so concerned that we get this far with everyone still alive and then she blew up the volcano and probably killed two of them. Good job, honey. We took too long. We'll find him, Trinity. Just relax. I feel like Trinity is- I feel like Trinity is more, uh, Zara than it is Estella, but okay. Estella grits her teeth and glares at Jake. Thank you. Use my name or don't speak to me again. Yes, girl! Ah! Finally, somebody fucking called him on it. Thank you. Jesus. This shouldn't have taken all the way to book three, honestly. She sets herself down on the sand, facing away from the group. <sighs> we were idiots to think we could all make it through this together. Honestly, I doubt anyone is getting out of here alive. Well, I mean, everybody dies, but hopefully not, you know, soon. Uh, <clears throat> pardonnez-moi, but do you happen to see something out by that cliff? Yvonne points at a shadowy outcropping of rock a short distance away. More beach? A strange, indistinct figure is approaching across the beach. The moonlight seems particularly bright around it. Is it the shaman? Jumanji, that you? God damn, dude, you do not learn, do you? There's no response. The figure continues on its slow path toward you. Because, of course it does. Who, who's there? When it finally draws close enough to reveal detail, you feel a chill travel down your back. Oh god, it's not the Endless again, is it? Oh, okay. Just... Featureless glowing person. Again, very normal. 
Green light undulates within a translucent, ghostly body. The face is featureless. Holy... What on earth? It's good to know this island can still surprise us. Oh, no, no, no. Vivon does not do ghosts. I don't think you got a choice, honey. The pirate whirls on her heel, running for a cluster of palm trees. She is noping right the fuck out of this, and I do not blame her. Estella finally turns to look. <gasps> I mean, yeah, be about the look on my face. The figure stops a few paces short of Estella, seeming to study her grief-stricken face. I don't know how we can tell since it has no eyes, but okay. What is this? What's happening? It raises a hand toward her, offering something. A small object is partially visible in its luminous grasp. Is that... How did you get that? What is it? What does it have? A photo I kept at San Tropita. It's me, my mother, and Tio Nicholas. It can't be real. Everything out there is burned to cinders. Well, technically, all we know is that, um... That the area surrounding La Huerta and then also Hartfeld are destroyed. We are literally assuming the rest of the world is destroyed. We do not know that for sure. We are taking Rourke's word for it, and I am inclined not to, personally. Estella stares at the spectral entity fearfully, unable to reach out to it. The light within its body falters. Cool, it's fading into starlight, I guess. In desperation... The figure turns and extends the photo to you. You notice that the picture is slowly darkening at the edges. It looks ready to burst into flames. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to take the salvaged photo. But look at it, look at like little, little baby Estella. Oh, it's so cute. As you grasp the photograph, the figure disappears completely. It's gone. You go to hand it to Estella, and the moment she touches it, everything is suddenly awash with light. Oh, cool, these are our new idols. The haze clears, and you find yourself in a cozy yet sparsely decorated room. A man with tied back gray hair is leaning over a desk trying to fix an old typewriter. Come on, you tonto! He smacks the typewriter's cabinet with his fist. The machine emits a sad clang as its keys click back into place. Ah, percussive maintenance. Estella gestures to a thin stack of haphazardly typed pages on the desk. Yeah, you better hope a stiff breeze doesn't blow in, my guy, because otherwise you're screwed. Deal. How are you going to inspire generations of Santrobedans with your life story if you can't even get a single chapter done? Woman's got a point. You should be somewhere exciting and full of promising young people. New York, London... Um... No. I like it here. Santrobita is your past, Estella. Estelita. It's my home. We fought for this place, remember? I will never forget. But we are free of Salazar's corruption now. And we've sent a signal that fascism will not be tolerated here ever again. God, we- okay. Nicholas, 
I got a job for you, my man! Yes. And now it's time to take care of ourselves. Time to rebuild and plan for the future. Are you thinking of starting a family? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stella's getting nesting instincts. <laughs> Maybe I am. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't think I'd see the day. Perhaps I'll even be a tío abuelo. Ah, uh, how the time escapes me. He sniffles, growing misty-eyed. <laughs> oh, tío. After another burst of intense light floods your vision, you find that you're back at the cave. Estella is holding the photo. Tears are streaming down her face. Uh, you two okay? Oh god, are we crying too? Is somebody finally noticing that we tend to cry when these things happen? Estella looks into your eyes. Somehow, you can tell that she saw the vision too. Maybe because she's crying. Or were we crying? See, I literally- I don't remember now. Oh well. I... Was that... How? I think... We were seeing the future. A future that could have been. Oh, that's depressing. <sighs> yes. Her gaze drifts toward the shore where it lingers, watching the tide wash in and out. She suddenly turns toward you and embraces you tightly. Aww. Oh, shh, it's okay. <laughs> I'd forgotten how much I miss my home. Over your shoulder, she gazes at the old photo. When I was little, all I wanted was to have a family one day. She steps back and inhales deeply, glancing over at Jake and then back to you. Yeah, Jake's not a good candidate, honey. The two of you would fight constantly. That would be... That would probably get destructive. We're going to fix this. Damn right we are. No more anger. No more despair. We owe it to ourselves to fight for the future with all we've got. I think maybe I... I just needed to see it to keep believing in it. And two points with her. Even though this is a future that isn't going to happen, I guess. That's really weird. Now that's the Estella I know. Finally! Or not. It's Katniss, cabron. Okay. Well, she's she's now given him permission to call him call her Katniss. So, alright. I accept this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's proud of himself, little shit. Yep, these are our new idols. Okay. So we've collected one of the 11 Embers of Hope. La Huerta can be a discouraging place. Embers of Hope will help your friends remember what matters most to them. All right. Gather enough, and one of the island's greatest mysteries will be brought to light. You mean you're gonna make me play another mini game in the epilogue? I know your game choices. I know what you're setting me up for. God damn it. Yvonne comes running over to you. Cool, you're back. Ahem. <clears throat> While I was, uh, scouting, I found something else. She gestures in the other direction along the shore. A 
cluster of huts rests in the shadow of a large cliff. Cool, shelter for the night. I love it. A village? Those look like Vanti dwellings. Heh, <laughs> maybe someone will know the whereabouts of the other catalysts. We're kind of a big deal after all. Oh god. They're not gonna like when they find out that we left their shaman to die, dude. Let's go find out. And there's our title card. That's chapter one complete. We found one out of the only, you know, we found the only clue and an ember of hope. Wow, they're just not even going to ask us if we want to restart the chapter. They're just going to have us continue on. Interesting. Okay, so. Uh, I will be back next week with chapter two. Um, so, you know, more Endless Friday. So that's same time, same place. Twitch.tv slash aromanticace at 7 p.m. Pacific next Friday if you want to watch me live. Um, I'm really, 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 really hoping that Twitch is going to process this, uh, this abridged version of book two's finale. Because I'd really like to have it on Twitch as well as YouTube, but if it does not, then I'm going to have to download the full-length VOD and find a way to crop it somewhere else. I can technically do it on YouTube, but I can't then download the high quality VOD like I can from Twitch, which is part of the problem. Um, Cause when you download your own videos from YouTube, the quality is absolutely shit. I would have to use a third party service to download it from YouTube. And I'm still not sure even then that the quality would be very good. So here's hoping. Um, but yeah, this'll, we'll continue. We'll see if we can find Sean and Craig or Ukjal or whether this village is going to murder us all because, you know, we let their shaman die. So enjoy whatever it is you do between now and Friday. Catch you later.